In this tutorial, we're going to work on the contact views context. Open up contactviews.py. Under def contact request, type title equals contact. Next, you can go ahead and delete contacts. Context equals locals. I'll make my context equal a dictionary. Dictionaries use a key value pairs. A key value pair is defined as a set of two linked data items, a key, which is a unique identifier for some item of data, and the value, which is either the data that is identified or a pointer to the location of the data. Under form equals contact form, type context equals title title, form, form. Once that's complete, save views.py. Next, open templates contact.html. We want to change the header tag, adding title. Once that's complete, save contact.html and open up the browser. Refresh the contact page. Hmm. The title in the contact form is still rendered. Open contactviews.py and delete form and form from the end of line 11. Save views.py and refresh the contact page. The form does not come through. The submit button is still there. Go back into views.py and undo the delete and save. I just wanted to illustrate that for context, you don't have to use locals. You can use a dictionary to specify the context to be rendered. Next, open contact.html. If the form is not rendered, the submit button should not be displayed. If form and end around the form open and close tag. Open contact views.py and delete form and form as we did earlier. Save views.py and refresh the contact page yet again. Now the form and the button do not come through. The if statement worked. Go back into views.py and undo the delete and save. When the user submits the form we want to send a message, we'll create a variable called confirm underscore message. So under the send underscore mail line, type title equals thanks. And on the line below that, add confirm underscore message equals thanks for the message. We will get right back to you. Next, we're going to make another context. This context will only be rendered once the form has been validated. So type context equals title title, confirm underscore message, confirm message. This can be found on line 23. Open contact.html. If the form has been validated, confirm message and the title will be rendered with the views context. If confirm message has been rendered, we want confirm underscore message to be displayed. Add if confirm underscore message, and end if.
save contact.html. Go ahead and refresh Chrome. Now you can fill out the contact form. Once that's complete, submit the form. Once the form is validated, the context changes. Confirm message and the new title is displayed. Refresh the contact page. The contact form is displayed again. Open contact views.py. We want to move this context out of the if statement. Cut context equals title and paste it below and add form. Next, we can go and delete context equals title, title form form from line 11. Now we want to go and type confirm underscore message equals none in its place. Following that, we will add form equals none into line 23. Before the form is submitted, confirm underscore message equals none. When the form is posted and the data is valid, form equals none. The context renders title, form, and confirm underscore message. The template will then display whatever context is rendered. Save views.py, refresh the home page, and you can go fill out the contact form. Submit the form, and then refresh contact. Contact.html displays the appropriate context on contact. Open profiles views.py. And on your context line, delete equals locals. Equally, remove this below on line 10. In locals place, we'll put an empty dictionary. Locals puts everything in each view as the context. This lack of specificity is a major drawback to using locals. That's why in this video, I showed you how to hard code the view's context. Save profiles views.py and refresh Chrome. Because the home and about page don't have any context to display, the empty dictionary does not affect them. 